When you're dealing with vendors in your business, you would want to interact with them in a simple and efficient way. The vendor portal in Zoho Inventory is a secure online platform where your vendors can access their transactions and also communicate with you for specific information. Let's learn all about them. In this video, we'll cover the following topics. First, let's configure the vendor portal to match your branding and business needs. Log into your Zoho Inventory account, go to Settings, and click Vendor Portal under Preferences. Here, you can edit the name of the portal. You can enter a display message for the home page of your portal. Click Preview to get a glimpse of how it will appear. Here, you can enable Preferences, which allows your vendors to perform a range of actions within the portal. There are options you can enable to interact and discuss with your vendors in real-time via comments. Once configured, click Save. Now, let's see how you can enable the vendor portal for your vendors. There are two ways in which you can invite your vendors to the portal. Enabling the vendor portal for new vendors. If you are adding a new vendor, you can enter their email address here and enable Allow Portal Access for this vendor option. You can also modify the language of the portal to align with your vendor's preference. An invitation will be sent to the provided email address. Your vendor can accept the invitation and access the portal. Enabling the portal for existing vendors. If you want to enable the portal for your existing vendor, go to the respective vendor's profile and click the More button. Click Configure Vendor Portal and select the email address to which an invitation will be sent to access the vendor portal. Alternatively, you can invite them by clicking the gear icon next to Portal Status. Make sure you have added their email address before sending an invite. Upon accepting the invitation and logging into the portal, your vendors will be directed to the home page. Here, they can get an overview of their balance summary, details of their most recent payment, their account details, and access any shared documents. Let's see some of the functions that can be performed in the vendor portal. If you have enabled the option to allow vendors to accept or decline the purchase orders under vendor portal preferences in your organization, they will be able to do so. Additionally, they can leave comments, download, and print the purchase order. They'll also be able to filter the purchase order by their status by clicking the All Purchase Order dropdown. If you have configured to allow your vendors to upload the invoice document, they'll be able to do so. They can upload the invoice document here after shipping the goods. You can review the document and convert the invoice into a bill from your Zoho Inventory organization. Let's see how. Log into your Zoho Inventory account, go to Purchases and click Bills. Under Uploaded Documents, you can find a list of invoice documents uploaded by your vendor. You can click Convert to Bill, verify all the details and save the bill. If you have enabled the Auto Scan option for uploaded documents, Zoho Inventory will automatically scan them. Once you pay the bill, it will be tracked under Payments Received. Let's look at some of the other actions that you can perform in the vendor portal. Vendors can download and print PDFs of their account statements, under Statements and filter them as needed. They can also update their account and payment details, send emails and change the password used for the vendor portal. And that's a wrap for our video on Zoho Inventory. Thanks for watching.